guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carolina. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing this eye look right here. I actually use a new eyeshadow palette by Alamar Cosmetics, which I have right here. This is the Spanglish palette. Yay! I got my hands on the entire collection. I'm gonna be testing out the primer and the brushes that she came out with along with this palette right here. I'm just gonna be focusing on the eyes for today's video, but if you're interested and want to see how I achieved this look, just keep watching. Today I am so excited to be using this palette in today's video. I saw the collection, I was like, ooh, that looks so good, I need it. Um, so I'm talking about the Alamar Cosmetics new palette. This is the Spanglish palette. I love the name. The packaging is so cute. I love the purple, like the lavender purple, the gold earrings with the name. Some purples here, and then these are her mattes. I did also pick up the primer. Again, this is the Pero Primero Primer a Long Wear Sticky Pigment Base. And then I got the brushes that she also came out with this collection, and they're so cute. I really like the packaging. They're like gold, and then they feel really, really soft. So I'm so excited to add this palette to my collection. I have all three eyeshadow palettes by Alamar Cosmetics. Okay, I'm on their website really quick so I can give you guys prices. So again, the Spanglish La Colección. It retails for $51 and you get the palette, you get the brushes, and you get the eyeshadow primer. And if you want just the palette, it's $28. The primer is $15 and the brushes are $18. Yeah, the brushes are $18. Um, so the primer is a little bit pricey, like $15 for a primer. This is not even like that big. It's pretty small. Um, it's only 8 ml. $15 is a little pricey just because like the brushes are $18. So it's up to you if you guys wanted to pick up the like base as well but I really wanted to pick it up because it did remind me of the P. Louise base which I have over here. I love love the P. Louise base like I always use this when I do my eyeshadow looks. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this primer all over my lid. Let me show you guys what it looks like. I love the name of this. Just apply it a little bit on my finger and it definitely is more of a thick consistency. And I'm just gonna tap this all over my lid. It's a little bit tacky. You see kind of like my fingers stick into my lid a little bit. I'm gonna do this side first just in case I don't like the primer. I can just like wipe this off and start over. I'm hoping I won't have to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush. This is the Detail Diffuser brush. I like this brush, but I think I'm gonna go in with a different brush first to um, apply the eyeshadow all over my crease because I like going with a brush that's a little bit more fluffier than this first. Um, so I think I'm just gonna take this one by Alamar as well. Um, these ones don't have names, but these ones are from her second collection. I'm gonna take this shade right here, this shade I get cute. I'm gonna apply this all over my crease first, just on this side, and then I'm gonna go over it with Ponte Hyper, like the more pink shade. Ooh, this shade is really pretty. The shade is really pigmented. I didn't think it was going to be this this pigmented. Okay, so I'm looking it up close and over here there's a little bit of patchiness and I'm pretty sure it's the primer which I hate because I've never had any issues with their eyeshadow formula like their mattes are so good they're creamy they're pigmented they blend so nice but just right here in the inner corner it looks like there's like a little bit of like the eyeshadow that kind of like crumbled up. But it's just right here. So maybe I added a little bit too much primer right here in the inner corner. I am going to be doing a cut crease. So 
I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to cover that up. I'm gonna layer or try to layer the uh, shade Bonde Hyper, which is this gorgeous pink right here, and see if I can like work with this. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a cut crease. And I'm going to use this one by Alamar. This is the one from their first collection. I would take a, this base, but I'm afraid that I'm going to like ruin what I've already like tried to fix. Um, so I am just going to go in with my P. Louise base, which I absolutely love. This is like one of my holy grails. The difference between this base and the one that I used by Alamar first, this one feels more creamy, like it doesn't feel as tacky, and it feels a little bit easier to work with, in my opinion. And this one gives a little bit more like of a pigment than the other one. I'm most likely going to go with the, um, with the darker purple gloss. But the first one, it is on show, it looks so good as well. I'm telling you guys, her shimmer formula is one of the best shimmer formulas of eyeshadows that I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot of shimmer eyeshadows. You guys see that? Look how gorgeous these look. So after swatching all the shades, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the lighter purple right here, which is It Is On Show. I was going to give you guys a little bit of an update. I'm actually in the process of moving, which I'm so, so excited. We ended up selling our own home and moving into my in-laws until we found a new like home. Um, it's four of us now, so we just wanted a little bit more room, a little bit more space, since now I have like, my daughter. We finally found one that we really liked, and... This weekend was supposed to be the weekend that we were moving. We're still moving. Um, I packed a good amount of stuff, which is like why I don't have a lot of things with me right now. Let me go ahead and start applying this on my lids right here. I am getting some fallout right here. But yeah, so that's a little bit of an update. So we're in the process of moving. I'm just going to be like so busy. Oh my god. Um, I'm also like working again. So I was like off for a bit because I had my daughter. Um, but now I'm back to work. So I'm also like super busy during the week because of that. Because I just don't have time to film during the week like before when I was just home. Um, so... I am so sorry, I apologize, that I am not going to be as consistent on filming videos. Um, but I do want to film like vlog style videos of like organizing, decorating, and packing, unpacking, all that. So if you guys are like wanting to see more videos like that, let me know. Because um, there's a lot of things that I want to do to the new house, to the kids' room, um, to my room, and all this. So I just have like a lot of ideas of what I want to do. Hopefully it comes out the way that I want it, but I can definitely like vlog those more like homey videos if you guys are interested. Just using a little bit more of a precise brush to get like right in here. I'm going to take this one. This brush is the Pigment Hacker Brush and I'm going to go back into the pinks right here. Kind of pack that right here on the outer corner. Oh, I really like this brush. Definitely a good brush to have to like pack on the shade. I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the palette. And I'm just going to take the um, pink shades and just put it right here on the bottom lash line. A 
for the inner corner, I did go ahead and put this shade right here from the Volume 1 palette. This is the shade La Costa. It's such a beautiful shade. Also added is as a highlighter over here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and finish this side off camera and then I'll be back to show you guys the final look. Okay, loves, I am back and this is the final look. I absolutely love how this like super fun pink purple eyeshadow came out. What I didn't love was this primer. I didn't end up using it on this side because I didn't really like how it applied like the eyeshadow and it blended out the eyeshadow on this one. So just to be on the safe side, I went ahead and just used my P. Louise base on this side and I didn't have any issues blending out any of the eyeshadows. First impression, I don't love this primer. If you have used this um, primer and you did really enjoy it, let me know down below because maybe, like I said, I didn't use it right. Maybe I used a little bit too much. Maybe I let it like dry down. I don't know, but I'm going to keep testing it out, playing with it and seeing maybe if I can like, you know, work with it. As far as the brushes, which I have right here, my favorite from all three was definitely this one, the um, Pigment Packer brush. This like eyeshadow brush is so, so good. I would definitely like buy more of these because it packs on the eyeshadow like perfectly on the outer corner, which is what I used it. And then I also dragged it to like my crease and it like worked as well. Um, this one, the um, diffuser brush, I didn't love this one. It's a little bit too flimsy for my liking. And then this one, this one is the crease control brush. I didn't use it on my um, eyes. I didn't use it on my eyeshadow. I actually use this for my highlighter because it's just like, it's like tiny and I like like the shape of it. Um, so I just added a little bit of the highlighter. Look, I didn't even add highlighter on this side. Girl, let me add it so I can show you guys. So I'm just going to take La Costa and I'm just going to add it right here. You see how like it adds the most beautiful highlight right here. And then I like it because you can get right here too. And then right here and then right down the center. So I like this brush for that. My hair looks crazy. I try to like fix it, but it's just one of those days. It's like every little thing kept going wrong. Like my eyelash didn't want to stick. Then I had to like, look, this one doesn't want to stick either. Like, I've, oh my God, it's just like one of those days. It's okay. I powered through. I got done filming, which is what I really wanted to do for you guys. But I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.